everyone, it's Lisa from the blog FarmhouseHomeBoon.com and today I want to invite you into our bedroom. We've made a few changes to make it a little bit more cozy for the fall and winter season. So I don't bring you into this bedroom very often because I really don't switch things up pretty much ever. But recently we decided to get a few new things in this room. We've had the same old jute rug in here for years and it was starting to get a little bit raggedy and just a few too many stains and spills and it was time to replace it. I went for a new style of rug entirely. I'm actually kind of in the process of switching out rugs as the old ones get faded and worn and stained up. I'm going to be moving away from the jute rugs just because I'm ready for a little bit more color in our house and I'm kind of just quite frankly sick of the jute rugs. So I brought in this new rug that has kind of a vintage feel to it. I'm loving it. It's a lot more cozy than the jute rugs were and I like that it's dark colored so that if things get spilled on it, because inevitably they will, at least it is darker and can hide some of that. I also had a few more new things. About six months, maybe less than that ago, I got some new linen sheets and a linen duvet. I was asked a lot of questions about my old one. It was from Ikea. This one's from an online shop. I will link below where you can find it. I really like this set. They also have it in a few other colors but it's cozy year round, but I especially love it in the fall. And then the most favorite thing that I'm adding this fall is this really heavy, cozy knit blanket. Usually these kind of blankets don't make it very long in our house because they get holes in them because they're used by the kids. This one is so much heavier and thicker. It's actually weighs probably double or triple the usual blankets like this. I'm really hoping it lasts longer, but I'll let you guys know this is the first season it's in our home. I'm really hoping the heavier weight will mean that it lasts for several seasons, but I love cozy knits in the fall and winter. And I had a several a few years back that I ended up retiring because they all were full of holes. And then I just brought in some Buffalo check. Now this I had in my living room and I usually just move things around for the season. I don't go out and buy really anything new. It's pretty rare that we'd have all these new items in our bedroom, but a few things just were worn and needed replacing. Also brought in a grain sack pillow from my shop. This one has the tie on the ends. If you are a sewer, you can make this. I have a tutorial for how to make the grain sack cover with the ties here on my channel. On our dresser, I have a little ironstone bowl that holds all of my accessories. <laughs> You'll see that I'm not a big accessories girl. I own one necklace, one watch, and then I also had some buttons that were laying on my dresser. I bought an extra pack whenever I sewed my linen dress. That way if a button fell off, I would have access to the same buttons. And they were just sitting on my dresser for the longest time in the package. So I kind of collected all those accessories together and put them in an ironstone bowl because it looks decorative and then also it's a more organized approach. At the foot of the bed, I have a bench that I slip covered. I've shared about this before and there's a tutorial on how to make it. It is a slip cover I made with drop cloth. Very simple project to update an old bench and I like it sitting at the foot of our bed to hold extra pillows and blankets and then also for additional seating in our bedroom. I brought in my favorite candle from a friend of mine on Instagram. I really like them in the fall especially because she has flavors like apple pickin' and fall harvest. They just look pretty for the fall season. Then of course, I just brought in a few little pumpkins and some fresh flowers. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little peek into our bedroom and some of the changes that we've made recently. I will link below all the tutorials because there is tutorials from this bedroom on how we planked the ceiling, on how we painted the dressers and where we found them and the nightstands, everything except the bed in this room is a thrift shop find that we've painted. So there's lots of tutorials on my blog and sources for all this stuff and I will link it below because it's been pieced together over the years. I will probably be inviting you back in here for the Christmas season, but for now, this is the cozy fall farmhouse bedroom. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse. Mm -hmm.